After watching this video, you will have no excuse not to start affiliate marketing in 2023. I've put together a list of 13 prompts that you can use to start affiliate marketing and start building the business of your dream. So watch this entire video to see the exact prompts that you can use and apply to your business so that you can start making money online. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so as I mentioned in this video, I'm going to reveal 13 prompts that you can use to start your affiliate marketing business. We're gonna cover the whole thing, watch this video, watch it a couple times because this is important, this is impactful, and this could change your life. So if we take a look at my screen here, the first thing that we wanna do is we want to calibrate our ChatGPT. We want to tell ChatGPT how to act, what to do, what to say. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to tell it to act as an expert affiliate marketer social media marketer and copywriter. I always like to ask ChatGPT, do you understand, do you understand the direction? The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go out and find an affiliate program. There are like 5,000 different affiliate programs out there, pick one. All right, in this example, I'm going to use Teachable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next prompt and I'm going to ask ChatGPT, are you familiar with the Teachable affiliate program, teachable affiliate program. And then it's gonna give us some background to let us know that it's familiar. Now always verify the information and make sure it's correct. It looks like it's correct so we can move on to the next one. But this is important because this is gonna help calibrate ChatGPT so that when we ask it more questions, it can give us better answers. All right, so we have our affiliate program, which is essentially step number one. We have it calibrated to answer the right questions in the right format. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna figure out who our target audience is, because if you don't know who you're talking to, you're not gonna be talking to anyone. So what we wanna do is we wanna come over here and we're going to ask ChatGPT, who is my target audience for this affiliate program be as specific as possible. So copy this, and I'm just going to replace, uh, for this affiliate program, I'm going to replace it with Teachable. So who is my target audience for the Teachable affiliate program? And so it's gonna give us the list of maybe five to 10 different uh, target audiences that we can point out. I'm gonna ask, let's see, are there any more? And it's giving us really good information. If we scroll up, online course creators, small business owners, bloggers and influencers, affiliate marketers, freelancers and solopreneurs, nonprofits and charities, students, educators, entrepreneurs, and startup founders. I really like this nonprofits and charities because nonprofits, they obviously will create courses, they might create free courses, and they need a place to host it. So this is actually a really good idea. The next thing that we wanna do is we, we wanna figure out where our target audience is so we can create content to bridge the gap, to get them where they wanna be, which is creating courses and potentially making money. So we're gonna ask ChatGPT, we're gonna paste this in, list 10 pain points my target audience is currently experiencing and why Teachable is the solution. So what we can do, we can do one of two things. We can either leave it really broad like that, or we could say list, list 10 pain points nonprofits and charities are currently experiencing and why Teachable is a solution. Look at this answer right here. This is gonna give us a pretty good answer. I must say this before we continue on. Make sure that you are using ChatGPT as a tool and it's not your entire marketing department, okay? If you just leave ChatGPT up to its own devices, you are going to run into some weirdness. You're gonna struggle a little bit, but I like it because it's doing a little bit of market research for us. But look at this, here are the 10 pain points. Difficulty creating and launching their own online courses. Maybe they tried doing it themselves through other platforms. Limited options for customizing. Difficulty attracting and engaging students. So one of the problems with creating a course is you want to you want to have a two-way feedback. If a student has a question, you want to make sure that you are able to answer that question and build a stronger community. Difficulty managing payments and financials. This is another huge problem. So I actually really like the answers that that ChatGPT has given us. And so we can use this information, the pain points, to create content, whether it's a YouTube video or on TikTok, we could say, you know, if you are experiencing this, if you are having difficulty creating your own course, if you have tried using another course 
software like uh, Builderall before and you ran into a lot of issues, the solution can be found here. And then we can list how all of the different ways that, that Teachable is different from its competitors. So this is actually some really good information. And that was list 10 pain points my target audience is currently experiencing and why Teachable is a solution. The next thing that we want to ask ChatGPT is as an affiliate, list five ways to promote Teachable. And again, you can do this with any affiliate program. Um, you're gonna have a little bit of an issue if you just try and do this with Amazon because there are so many different products, but because Teachable is a standalone platform, it works really well. Um, you can do the same thing with ClickFunnels and, and other platforms that are standalone. So if we look at this, here are five ways to promote Teachable. Create a blog, use social media, offer a bonus, create a lead magnet, collaborate with other influencers. So this is okay information. This gives us a little bit of, of direction, but what we wanna do is ultimately we wanna build an email list. And the best way to build an email list is to come up with a lead magnet. So what we're gonna do is we are going to list five lead magnet ideas to promote Teachable as an affiliate. So we're gonna copy this. And we are going to paste that right here. And you're gonna see that ChatGPT actually gives us some pretty good answers. Now look at this, the ultimate guide to creating and selling online courses. This could be a step-by-step -step workbook, it could be a blueprint, it could be a mini course. And then inside of that course, you're gonna put your affiliate link to Teachable or you know whatever your affiliate program is. Five ways to increase your online course sales. 10 ideas for profitable online courses. These are actually really good lead magnet ideas. Now, I don't necessarily recommend that you lead lean on ChatGPT to build these out for you, but this is a good place to start. The Teachable Course Creation Checklist. I really like that one because it's short, it's sweet, and it's actionable. Uh, the Teachable Platform Demo. One of the best ways to get people that are potentially looking to switch or interested is to simply create a review and a tutorial about using the product. So I really like these different ideas. Now for you, what you'd wanna do is you would simply go and build this out. You would simply go out, go and build out one of these different lead magnets. The next thing that we wanna do is we might wanna create an email sequence to promote our product that we're an affiliate for. So what we would do is we'd we'd ask ChatGPT to create a 10 day email sequence to promote Teachable. So we're just gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna add in a little bit more. I'm gonna ask it to make sure that day one is we are giving away our lead magnet, which is gonna be our course creation checklist. All right, so as you can see here, it says create a 10 day email sequence to promote Teachable. Day one should give away the Teachable course creation checklist. When we hit enter, you're gonna see that it's going to create this 10 day sequence. Now definitely read through it, add in your own personality, add in your own experiences and a little bit of your journey because that's the best way to connect with your target audience. But you can see it actually started off pretty well, a, a pretty good email sequence. So subject line for day one, your essential checklist for creating a successful online course with Teachable, pretty good. If we look at the subject line for day two, how to make your online courses stand out with Teachable's customization options. Okay, so I would probably go in a little bit of a different direction uh, talking about the pain points and we could actually change this and reconfigure it to ask ChatGPT to create a five day email sequence highlighting the pain points of our target audience and why Teachable is the solution. So I'm actually gonna put that in right now and we're gonna look at the difference. Now we actually have a couple options, a couple ways that we can do this. I actually asked ChatGPT to create a five day email sequence highlighting our target audience's pain points and the solution is Teachable. Another thing that we could do is we could ask ChatGPT to create a five day email sequence using the problem agitate solve method or the AIDA method and it'll actually do a pretty good job. Now again, you want to use this as a tool, don't just use it as your email marketing software, your email marketer. But if we look at this, we come back up, uh, let's see, day one, having trouble creating and launching your online course, Teachable is the solution, I'd get rid of Teachable as a solution. Um, make your courses stand out with I would just say uh, these customization options. So it's it's not bad. We could always go back and refine it just a little bit to make sure that we are continuously highlighting the problems and why, why Teachable is that solution. So the next thing that you wanna do, and I get this question literally all the time, Alston, uh, the affiliate program wants me to submit an application. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to put. And this is really preventing me from actually 
being an affiliate marketer, being successful. So what I would do is I'd come over to ChatGPT and I would say, create a business plan using the answers above to apply to the Teachable Affiliate Program. So basically what's gonna happen is ChatGPT is going to look back at everything that we've put down and it's going to come up with a, a business plan that we are going to basically um, use to help us get approved. The more information that you can give these different affiliate programs, the higher the chance that you'll be approved because these people want you to submit a business plan because they want you to grow their business. They wanna make sure that you are actually going to grow the business and you're not going to detract or bring it down. So I'm just going to ask it to create a business plan and you can get rid of some of this executive summary. But if you look at this, this is a pretty good business plan. So what I would do is I would maybe refine it just a little bit and say, uh, create a business plan for the Teachable Affiliate Program where we're going to create content on TikTok and our target audience is nonprofit. So I'm just gonna enter that in, give it a little bit more detail, and you're gonna see it's actually going to come out pretty nice. All right, so I just said, create a business plan for the Teachable Affiliate Program. Our target audience is nonprofit organizations and we will create content on TikTok. But you can see here that it actually gives us the executive summary, uh, target audience, which we put in marketing strategies and then financial plan, which we can um, we can remove and then a conclusion. So this is again, a good place to start. That should give you some ideas, some inspiration, and it should help increase the chances that you'll get approved by these different affiliate networks. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna start creating content. And to start creating content, we're simply going to ask ChatGPT to list content ideas to promote Teachable or whatever your affiliate program is. So we're gonna copy that and it's going to give us a few different content ideas. Um, you can talk about success stories, Teachable 101, as I mentioned, um, expert interviews and webinars, case studies, testimonials, and Teachable tips and tricks. Another thing that I would also do is look at comparison. So Teachable versus Kajabi or Teachable versus uh, Padea, some of the Podia, some of the other things that are out there. We could keep asking it. We could say list five more like that, and it's gonna give us a few more, okay? So the next thing that we wanna do is we alluded that we're going to create content on TikTok. So uh, one of the great uses of ChatGPT is to come up with a few different hooks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask ChatGPT to list 10 hooks for my target audience to promote this affiliate program on TikTok. So I'm going to copy this, and instead of this affiliate program, I'm going to say teachable affiliate program. So it's going to say list 10 hooks for my target audience to promote the teachable affiliate program on TikTok. Now, this is, as I mentioned, a great tool. You still have to execute and put in the work. I recommend that you show up on camera. People will say, do you have to show your face? I recommend it because it helps build a stronger audience. You're still watching this video, quite frankly, because I'm here talking to you. I'm not hiding behind B-roll. You can see my face. You can see my, um, my facial expressions, and it helps build a stronger connection. But let's take a look at some of these hooks. Want to raise more funds for your nonprofit? Check out Teachable. That's an interesting one because one of the biggest problems with nonprofit is they never have enough money. Create and sell online courses with Teachable. Educate your audience on your cause. Look for a new way to engage your nonprofit audience. Teachable has a solution. Okay. Um, maximize your nonprofit's impact with Teachable's online course creation platform. Now, what I might do was say, like, here's three ways to increase your nonprofit's impact. And one of those three ways would be to create an online course. And then you could say something like, hey, if you uh, want the best web, uh, what best online course creation software, check out the link in my bio. That's a little bit better way to go. But what I really like ChatGPT for is it helps me get the ball rolling. It helps me with brainstorming. It makes brainstorming much quicker. It, if we look at this, uh, Teachable is the perfect platform for nonprofits to share their knowledge and make a difference. Are you a nonprofit leader? Learn how Teachable can help you spread your message. Now, what I might do is say, uh, are you a nonprofit leader? Learn how creating an online course can help you spread your message. Again, eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them over to Teachable and then we can make money. So hopefully you're starting to see how powerful ChatGPT can be to help you get started with affiliate marketing. And I can't stress this enough. You wanna make sure that you are using ChatGPT as a tool. It's not gonna be able to do everything for you. It still has some knowledge gaps that you're gonna to have to fill in. A couple more left, uh, list 10 keyword ideas to promote this affiliate program. Now this is great if you are creating content on YouTube or starting a blog, but let's look at this. And what we could even do is we could say list 
10 keywords with low competition but high search. So let's do that. So we could add in let's 10 keywords with low competition and high search to promote the teachable affiliate program. Now again, you, wherever it says teachable, add in your affiliate program. Teachable online course creation, best online course platforms for beginners. That's not a bad one. Create and sell courses online with teachable. Teachable versus Udemy. That's a, a pretty good one. Teachable for nonprofits and, chari and charities. That's an interesting one. Teachable affiliate program for bloggers. Not a great one. How to make money with teachable. That's an interesting one. That's a really good one. Um, so as you can see, these are going to be lower competition because if you think about it, these are at the bottom of the funnel. These people, they know the problem, they know the solution, they just want to confirm what they think, and that's why a lot of these have teachable. We could go back and just say, list 10 keywords to promote this affiliate program, and it should give us more broad information. Um, this actually gave us, um, let's see, list 10 keywords to promote, we'll just say teachable. Online course creation, sell courses online, um, so you, this is okay. You would again have to do a little bit more work to get these to where you want to be. But this again is a great starting point. The next thing that we want to look up is we want ChatGPT to give us an outline. So we're going to paste in, create an outline for a YouTube video for, and then where it says keyword, you're just going to grab the keyword. So we'll say something like uh, best online course for beginners. And then we're going to use it as an outline. Again, this is a roadmap. This should not be. This should not be everything. But if you look at this, what I would probably go back and do is I would actually come back here again. I'd paste it and I'd do. Best, um, we would say, we would say something like create an outline for a YouTube video, and I might say something like five best. So we'll paste it and create an outline for a YouTube video for the five best best online course platforms for beginners. And then I wanna make sure that Teachable is one of them. So I would say something like, I included, please include Teachable as one of the five. So we hit enter and you can see here, it gives us an outline. And then we can do a little bit more research, talk about Thinkific, Kajabi, Padilla, and Udemy or Udemy. And then we've got a decent video. So as you can see, these are 13 ChatGPT prompts that you could plug into ChatGPT right away and start affiliate marketing. Now, you still need to create the content. You still need to actually go out and do the work. And if you do the work, you can be successful, okay? Now that you have seen how powerful ChatGPT can be for affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description if you want free affiliate marketing planners. Those planners will help you plan and organize your affiliate marketing business so that you can make more money online. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start to download your free planners today. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.